30 seconds, let's go.
31 yards. Two scores, Jared Bowie, five catches, 84 yards in the score. Champ Givens, two of his three catches for touchdowns. So he basically could not control it. He was in the back. Jake Saltello, uh, number one. So I we'll think we're working on a couple little technical issues here. So we have the referees that are about to do the coin toss here. The visiting team will make the call. And so Jesuit wins the toss and they want the ball first. Tigers want the offense out in the field. Jesuit with a record of 7-4. and four. Same with Gaither. Let's see Father Hermes out there. We're going to have the uh, opening prayer in the national anthem here shortly. But uh, Will Griffin with those five touchdown passes gives him 17 on the season, only against uh, five interceptions. The opponent tonight, the Gaither Cowboys. Boy, what an offense this team has. They, are in, they run the uh, the air raid offense, something that you see uh, Mike Leach do at uh, Mississippi State and some other colleges. They uh, put it in the air quite a bit more than uh, they have it on the ground. So they are again 7-4. and four. One of those wins coming via forfeit over Tampa Bay Tech. But the sophomore quarterback, Jace Nixon, he has thrown for 35 touchdown passes this year as Jesuit takes the field. Now the last time these two teams played, boy, what an interesting game that was. Jesuit went up 42 to nothing in the first half, running time in the second half. The Tigers dominated in every facet, offense, defense, and special teams, but uh, in the second half running time, it was all gay there. It was kind of a tale of two halves couple of uh, onside kick recoveries, fumble recovery, Tigers offense a little bit uh, stagnant and Gaither caught up, but uh, they were way too far behind. We'll talk more about that, but uh, we're going to have the invocation now followed by the National Anthem. We'll be back in a moment. semifinal game between Jesuit and Gaither. We give you thanks for the many blessings in our lives, and we ask that you bless these young men who compete here tonight. May they play to the best of their ability, free from injury, and according to the highest standards of sportsmanship. And may all of us in our daily lives seek to do your will for your greater glory. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Say to nations, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
but a uh, key component of the Gaither offense did not play in that the game, the Jesuit Gaither game earlier in the year, and that would be the uh, senior wide receiver Eugene Wilson. He was injured, but in the six games he's played, he's averaged 118 yards receiving per game, and he has had some big games um, as of late. He is the main target for the quarterback, Jace Nixon. Gaither here by virtue of a 27-6 win on the road at Pinellas Park last week. Back deep for Jesuit, Andre Gilbert, Justin Thurman. Nice to see Justin back. Missed a couple of games. And here we go, and hope you enjoy the broadcast. The final 16, three Metro. Kick is short, it's gonna be Andre Gilbert at the seven. 15, 20 up the middle. And he is met at the 27-yard line by a host of Cowboys. Rights to the webcast of this region semifinal game in the 2022 FHSAA Class 3 Metro Football Championships has been granted to Jesuit High School by the Florida High School Athletic Association and is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience and a rebroadcast retransmission or other use of this webcast without the express written consent of the Florida High School Athletic Association is prohibited. As uh, Will Griffin, shotgun formation, two wide outs to each side. And Joe Smith gets it. Big hole for Joe Smith. Joe Smith running right. Joe Smith in midfield. Smith to the 40 goes out of bounds. Now this Gaither defense has been susceptible to the run in a late season loss to Newsom. The Wolves ran for 399 yards. And in the win over Pinellas Park last week, the Patriots put 327 up on Gator. So a big run there by Joe Smith, 33 yards. And incomplete pass. Looking for a screen to Smith. Boy, Smith had a lot of open field there. There might have been some miscommunication on that play. That was a big 33-yard run by Smith to start. Second and 10, Jesuit at the Gaither 40. Gabe Themar in. Smith again. And he's going to lose a yard. So Antonio Henley, he's really the defensive player to watch for Gaither. The... Uh, Defensive tackle, 16 sacks on the year for Henley, and he also is the leading tackler overall. So third and 12, Jesuit at the Gaither 42. And it's a fly sweep, that's Bowie. Bowie around in, Bowie near a first down. See where they spot it, that's the question, he's close. So let's see where the spot is. He is about two yards short. Jesuit brings the big boys out. Peter Pazanski out there, and the Tigers uh, are going to go for it. A little in kind of that no man's land. It's uh, out of Jack Ferrari's range and a little too close to punt it. So uh, Tigers bring the big bodies in. Joe Smith up the middle. He gains the two and then some. Picked up about five. So 
So first and 10 Jesuit at the Gaither 27. It's Bowie and Goodwin wide left. Play action. Griffin passes caught. And that is Champ Givens. And he's inside the five. Good job, Griffin. Standing tall in the pocket there. He was getting some pressure. Went play action. Got some pressure. And uh, Jesuit with a nice opening drive to start here. They have first and goal at the Gaither. Three. Joe Smith, Joe Smith powers through, Joe Smith scores! Touchdown, Tigers! A minute and 50 seconds in. Ferrari's kick is right down the middle. 7-0 Jesuit. Good start for the Tigers. That's what they wanted right there. Sportsmanship is having pride in your school, your team, and yourself. Sportsmanship is respect for the game and those who play at the Florida High School Athletic Association. Reminds you to take on the responsibility of good sportsmanship. Play strong, play hard, play fair. This message provided by Jesuit High School and the FHSAA. see the numbers here but we will know soon enough I think Eugene Wilson might be one of them and here's Ferrari the senior has had a solid season and it is a high kick hits oh they better feel that quickly that could be Jesuit ball Tigers think they have it the Tigers think they have it and they do! They do! Jesuit! That was Bowie. High short kick was fielded. I think that was Wilson. Never really got a good handle on it. Fumbled it on the tackle and Jesuit takes over. Inside the Gaither 20, not the start the Cowboys wanted. Here we go, Joe Smith. Smith cuts left. Smith dragged down after a short gain, maybe about two. Seven nothing Jesuit, 9.48 left in the first. Good start for the Tigers. Tight formation, bunch formation right. They pitch it. That's Thurman and a flag. So that's Justin Thurman. Had a lot of field, but it's coming back. Holding Jesuit. Hold on the edge. Probably one of the receivers from the area that the... Uh, Ref through the flag. They'll mark it from the spot. So it's back to the 28. So we're going to have a second and 
say 21. Four wide outs, two to each side. Griffin back to pass, good protection. Looking down field, oh, almost a one-handed grab by Bowie. Pass a little bit high. Bowie almost with the circus catch there. Just running right up the seam. It's going to be third and long. And really, this is, uh, well, let's see if the Tigers can get it into Ferrari field goal range here. I would say they've got to get it to at least, at least the 20. And two wide outs to each side. Joe Smith to the left of Will Griffin. Griffin back to pass. Griffin, pass down the middle, incomplete. And it's going to be fourth down. Looks like Ferrari's going to try a long field goal here. This is going to be from 45 yards. I think this may be his season long. I think the season long is 41. But uh, slight bit of wind here. Here's Ferrari, Griffin the holder. Good snap. Ferrari got some good leg into that. Let's see. Ferrari's kick is good. 45. Kick by Ferrari. So, Je so Jesuit up 10 to nothing. And you are watching the 2022 FHSAA Class 3 Metro Region 2 Semifinal Championship game on the Jesuit High School Football Tampa Facebook page. Right back at Jesuit, and we have confirmed that is Ferrari's longest. The previous long was 42. So here's Ferrari. 10 nothing Jesuit. Another high kick. And that is number five for Gaither. That was a Ladanian Farrell. So now we get to see this explosive Gaither offense down uh, 10 to nothing. So this is an air raid offense, very tempo oriented. You're going to see four wide outs. And. Uh, Oh, look at this. Look at this formation. Interesting. Five to one side. So they're trying to set something up. And that is Eugene Wilson. Boy, that was an interesting formation. Five receivers. Two yard gain. Second and eight. And it's a similar formation here. See the receivers are all lining up so they're eligible. Now Wilson goes in motion to the left. Bunch formation right. And the pass is caught by Wilson. And he's near first. So it's going to be third and short. So uh, pretty apparent early on that the Cowboys are uh, looking for uh, Eugene Wilson.
Running back is uh, Emmanuel Arango. He's the leading rusher. And Arango gets it. Oh, and he is stuffed. He is stuffed for a loss. So Arango has rushed for 336 yards, and he's the leading rusher for the whole season, and he is stuffed. I think Jesuit uh, sensed that. So boy, at, th at their own 35, let's see if uh, Nixon tries to hard count Jesuit here. That's what he's trying to do. Tigers just have to be disciplined. He's trying to go with the hard count. And it did not work. I didn't think they were going to go for it there. So Gaither calls time before the flag. Couple of shout outs to give Toby Shaw. Dan Shaw, Barb Thompson, and Andy Wobbenhorst. Appreciate you uh, tuning in to the uh, webcast tonight, the live stream. We appreciate it. Thank you for supporting Jesuit High School. Also a shout out to Dave and Judy Driver watching up in Michigan. And uh, Chuck Dean as well. So thank you, folks. Appreciate it very much. So Gay, they're going for it here. Nixon rolls right. Nixon spins and he got it. Yeah, so the way Jesuits offense has moved the ball. I don't think Gaither wanted to punt it away to the Tigers. 10-0 Jesuit, 7-12 left in the first. Four wideouts right. Empty set. Tigers are three down linemen. Nixon, short drop. Pass is caught for a first. Caught by Silas Tenenblatt, 21. And refs call for the water break. For the latest official news about Florida high school sports, including up-to-date brackets in the 2022 FHS FHSAA, football championships visit FHSAA, fhsaa.com the official the new official website of the Florida High School Athletic Association that's www.fhsaa.com catch live and on demand postseason coverage of Florida High School sports at www.nfhsnetwork.com brought to you by the NFHS Network the official online partner of the FHSAA so first and 10 Gaither at the Jesuit 48. Four wideouts left. Nixon rolls left. Quick pass. Oh, it's a fumble. That is a fumble, and it's picked up by the Tigers. That was Kyle Boys, the lineman. The weather's forced it. Boy, Houston weather's having a year. And Kyle Boisman's lineman position, his nose tackle position, alertly picks up the fumble. Jesuit in good field position again. Referees, oh, they call an incomplete pass. They just, they, they change their mind. Incomplete pass. Wow. So you have to make a football move. I mean, that's the key right there. 
So, looked like the pass was caught, but the question is, did the receiver make a football move before he was fumbled? Honestly, it was the other side of the field, so nothing I could see specifically here, but at least the referees got together there. So it's second down and 10. That's an incomplete pass. Four wideouts left again. Nixon rolls left. Nixon near the side. Nixon in trouble. He goes down. So Kyle Boys doesn't pick up the fumble, but he got the sack. How about that? And that is a loss. Loss of eight. Cowboys flooded the left side, but uh, good coverage by the Jesuit secondary. Nixon just kept getting closer and closer to the sideline. And uh, boys had a chance to close in on him. So it's third and 18 now. Gay there from their own 44-yard line. Trips right. This has got to be illegal substitution. There's run, there's uh, offensive players running in and out. Where do they call time? Now oh, Gaither has to burn their second. Gaither burns their second time out. Yeah, there was some miscommunication there. And uh, if it wasn't going to be a legal substitution, it was going to be a delay a game, one or the other. And uh, Kirk Carson, the veteran coach of Gaither, has to burn timeout number two with 534 left in the first. Not, uh, not something he wanted to do with Jesuit up 10 to nothing. Winner of this game plays the winner of East Bay and Largo. It's at Largo. A couple of teams that like to pound it. The uh, Indians and the Packers. So third and 18 trips right. Rango next to Nixon. Nixon. Pass is caught. Nope, incomplete. Incomplete. So ten and ten and Blatt dropped it. Fourth and eighteen, and uh, I think at this point it will necessitate a punt. So Jesuit so far at least has done a good job of keeping this air raid offense out of rhythm. Jared Bowie standing at his own 25. High snap but controlled. Some, you know, someone might have got a finger on that Bowie. It's tackled at the 22. Yeah, that kick uh, its kind of had an odd spin to it. I mean, it wasn't really blocked, but I think maybe a Tiger just got a, uh, got a finger on that one, possibly. The Jesuit has first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Tigers have had a solid ground game so far tonight. 5-19 left in the first. Goodwin Bowie wide left, Givens slot right, Gabe Themar is in the game, in motion is Bowie, they give it to Joe Smith, and Joe maybe gets a yard, short game. Tigers trying a little bit of misdirection there. Here comes Ian Wilson. So Jesuit going to that uh, two-back look. Which we have 
have seen quite often this season. Now Smith goes in the slot. Griffin hands off to Ian Wilson. Wilson is going to get back to the line of scrimmage. He might have lost a yard. So Wilson actually lost a yard that time. Cameron Koontz comes in, the big six foot three junior, number nine. As we've hit the four minute mark here in the first, 10 nothing Jesuit. Bowie's in motion. Griffin directing traffic, pass dropped. Might have been a little bit behind Bowie, so Jesuit's going to have to punt here. A little bootleg action that time by Will Griffin. Low and maybe a little bit behind the receiver. So Ferrari's first kick. here on special teams. Good snap. Oh, high short kick by Ferrari. And Gaither is going to have good field position at the Jesuit 39 on a short kick. I think that the snap actually was a little bit high that may possibly have a affected the timing on that play. But uh, good field position for Gaither. This is Wilson number two. Boy, what a matchup here. Andre Gilbert on uh, Eugene Wilson. Straight man coverage. Oh, now someone drops back. Nixon. Oh, it's picked off by Bowles. Bowles read, read it. Oh, look at Bowles go. Bowles 30. Bowles still on his feet. Bowles 10. Bowles 5. Bowles score. Touchdown, Tigers on the pick six by the Georgia bound Troy Bowles. Boy, Bowles read that perfectly. And what speed Troy Bowles has. For a guy his size, boy, no one was catching him. And that, folks, is what uh, four-star linebackers do right there on the big pick six by Bowles. Ferrari's kick is good. 17 to nothing. Jesuit 241 left in the first. Well, if you wanted a splash play on defense, there it was right there. And Father Hermes comes over and uh, gives some kudos to Bowles after that play. But the recognition of the play, Bowles just stepped right in the passing lane, but just the speed right there on that return was uh, very impressive to say the least. Here's Ferrari. A high kick, shorter kick. This is Farrell. Ooh, Farrell around in. Farrell's got some speed. He's at midfield. Oh, he fumbled it? The question is, did it 
the judge will recover in or out of bounds. It was out of bounds. So Farrell on the return. Good field position for Gaither. Two twenty nine left in the first, seventeen nothing Jesuit. Nixon shotgun. Nixon short drop. Steps up in the pocket. Lobs a pass for a first down caught by Silas Tenenblatt. So first down Gaither to the Jesuit 28. That's to each side. Nixon. Pass is caught by Rango's. Popped hard. Bulls got that tackle, I think. Yep, Bulls was in there right in front of the Jesuit bench. Is there a flag in the play? Holding, nope, holding Gaither. So it looks like that hold took place right about at the line of scrimmage. So it's falls back to the 37. 140 left in the first. Relatively quickly played quarter here. Ten and black, way wide left. Three wide outs to the short side. Interesting formation here. Nixon back to pass. Nixon, crossing pattern, caught. Oh, that was Wilson, excuse me, that was Wilson, not Ten and Blatt out wide left. That was Wilson who ran a deep cross. And a good pass, low pass by Nixon, right where he had to put it. It is a catch and a first down to the 16. So they have put Wilson to the left and uh, S.J. Green on him, giving him a little bit of cushion. Nixon rolls right, left, excuse me. Nixon incomplete. Second and ten. Yeah, Wilson just ran a little short pattern there and pretty much stopped. But uh, he was covered. Nixon rolls left. Getting pressure. Goes in the corner of the end zone. Oh, I think that might be a touchdown. Let's see. It is. It's a score. Touchdown. Gaither. That's Wilson. So Wilson with the catch and did a good job keeping a, a foot in bounds. And, uh, Quick strike offense by Gaither. Andre Gilbert almost blocks that kick, but it is good. So 17-7. Jesuit, 44 seconds left in the first.
So Thurman and Gilbert. need to be weary, weary of the onside kick here. Looks like they have a couple of extra guys closer to the line. See if Gator finally getting a little bit of offensive rhythm. Maybe they want to keep it here. Let's see. Nope. It's going to be Thurman back at the six. Here's the speedy Thurman. Right up the middle. Thurman. Nice return. Tackle by Emmanuel Orango. But a return to the 32 by Justin Thurman. With 38 seconds left in the first. Tigers go with the two running back look again. Wilson. Yeah, now. Oh, Griffin on a keeper. Griffin right up the middle. Griffin has a first down. Called keeper right there. They sent Wilson to the slot. And Will and Griffin right up the gut. Nice run into Gaither territory right there. So the, the freshman showing some speed and power. He's back to pass. Rolls right. Pass is caught by Max Hunt, number 12. So Max, the six foot five sophomore. And, and we've played one. It is 17-7 Jesuit, and you are watching the 2022 FHSAA Class 3 Metro Region 2 semifinal game on the Jesuit High School Football Tampa Facebook page. So that was a gain of four on that play, and the packs pass to Max Hunt. Hunt stays in. And Griffin again on the keeper, and this time he's tackled by the ankle by Zach Harper, 25. Was that 45? It's 45. Jake Sol Soltetto, excuse me. So third and four on that short run by Griffin. Griffin handoff. Joe Smith. Joe has a first and more down to the 35. Tigers thought there was a uh, encroachment there. Didn't look like it from this angle here, but a nice run by Joe. And Jesuit has first and ten at the Gaither 36 early here in the second. Hunt wide right to the short side. Boy, Max Hunt has a height advantage here. My goodness. Trips left for Jesuit. Griffin. Play action. Griffin getting pressure. Looking for Givens. But, uh, Griffin was getting some heavy pressure that time from uh, Batuhan Subasi, number 24. 
second and ten. Griffin doing a good job just not to get sacked there. Same formation. Let's chant Givens in the slot. Griffin. Griffin looking downfield. Oh, it's going to be intercepted. It's picked off. It is picked off. And a lot of open feel here. This is Wilson, number two. And he's tackled by Will Griffin. So Wilson playing in the secondary. Probably an ill-advised pass by Griffin that time. Threw it, uh, really threw it into a crowd. And it is a pick and a long return by Wilson. So 10.32 left in the second, 17.7 Jesuit, but uh, Gaither, who had a good drive last time in Jesuit territory to start their first drive here in the second quarter. Nixon, short drop. Nixon getting pressure. Nixon stepped up. He goes down. And that is Houston Weathers on the sack. So Weathers blitzing three-yard sack. As the pocket closed down quickly, Nixon trying to step up, but uh, he got hemmed in. Trips right. Nixon, short drop. Nixon steps up. Nixon running it. Nixon has a nice gain. He slides shy of the first. So it's going to be third and two. Definitely would think four down territory here. Third and two gather at the Jesuit 39. And refs blow ref stop play for some reason here. Not quite sure what that's about. Nixon rolls right. Nixon getting pressure. Nixon gets hit. And he got it away. Incomplete pass. So the Weathers Pazanski duo. And it's fourth and two. And the offense, as anticipated, stays out here. Fourth and two Cowboys. Went for it earlier. Nixon. And Gaither calls their last time out of the half. Wow. So Gaither is out of timeouts. Tonight's game in the 2022 FHSAA Class 3 Metro Football Championships is sponsored by the Florida High School Athletic Association. The FHSAA is a democratic organization 
with a membership of more than 800 middle and senior high schools, all committed to ensuring that Florida's student athletes can compete fairly and equitably in an educational environment. The Florida High School Athletic Association building leaders through teamwork, sportsmanship, and citizenship. Fourth down, Nixon, Nixon rolling right, Nixon in trouble. Nixon looking downfield, pass caught. Oh boy, what a catch, Farrell. Boy, Nixon bought some time and Farrell cutting across field. Gets a big first down for Gaither. Farrell doing a good job just getting open right now, and Nixon doing a good job keeping that play alive as he was getting some pressure. So first and 10, 8.33 left in the first half. First and 10 at the Jesuit, 26 for Gaither. Tigers lead 17 to seven. Nixon, back to pass, screen pass. Whistles. And it's a false start on the offense. Wow, it was a uh, fortuitous penalty there because the uh, that back who caught that pass had a lot of green in front of him. So Jesuit catching a break there. First and 15. Nixon, straight drop, rolls, directing traffic. He's gonna keep it himself, he slides. Flag, this may be another penalty on Gaither, a hold, let's see, yes it is. So another penalty, back to back flags on the Cowboys and this one they're going to, looks like that hole took place about maybe four or five, four yards, we'll say, behind the line. So this is going way back to the 44. So this is going to be first and 28. either had it at the 26, now they're back to the 44. Nixon, short drop, looking down the field. And it's a miscommunication there between uh, Wilson and Nixon. And uh, boy, if Andre Gilbert might would have got maybe, he was playing a little deep, if he'd have got maybe a little bit better jump on that, uh, he was gone. But now it's second and 28. Kind of lobbed that pass a little bit. So it's Quinn Boys and Pazanski, three down linemen for Jesuit. Weathers Arena. Roberts, Abood, Nixon going downfield. Oh, nearly picked off by Drew Wood as. Ooh, Wood as knows he should have had that one. Had it in his hand and just uh, slipped through. So third and 28. So Jesuit getting pretty good pressure here. Oh, now they're bringing in Thurman. We saw this defense a little bit against Gaither where they bring in a couple of speed guys and I think they're only gonna have one down lineman, Pazanski. 
So Pazanski, the one down lineman, and they bring in Thurman and Bowie. And the pass is caught, and it's going to be a face mask on Jesuit. So this is going to be 15 more, and they're going to get another shot at this. This is probably going to be of the personal foul variety, I think. So this is going to be 15 from the end of the run. It's not going to be an automatic first, but uh, it's going to be a replay of the down. It's still it's going to be third down. Big break for for Gaither. Wow. So it's going to be third and eight, and it would have been third and 23. Wow. Balls at the 24. Wilson. Incomplete. Again, Wilson and his two receivers, I don't think we're on the same page there. Had one receiver cut deep and one cut across, and Nixon kind of put it right between them. So this is going to be a 41-yard attempt for Gaither kicker. High snap, and the kick is, it's good. That was Vasquez, the kicker, Matt Vasquez. And it is 17 to 10, 715 left in the second. Again, Andre Gilbert very close to blocking that kick. You are watching the 2022 FHSAA Class 3 Metro Region 2 Semifinal on the Jesuit High School Football Tampa Facebook page. Gaither has scored the last 10 here. And the kick. Yeah, that... This might have been, this might be a delay. Yeah, it's a delay a game on the kickoff. You don't normally see that, but uh, the Cowboys had players running in and running out. So, we move this one five yards back. A little bit of confusion there. Try again. So here's Vasquez. Line drive this time. Fielded by Justin Thurman on the fly. And Thurman has a nice run back to the 45. So good field position for Jesuit. As Thurman kept his eyes on that hard to control line drive kick. And uh, made a nice return to the 45. And 
Jesuit going with the no, nope, they're going with the Wildcat to start here. Joe Smith. At quarterback, Smith on the keeper, Smith up the middle. And he's gonna get about three. So Jesuit with the Wildcat to start, which we see sometimes. So second and seven. Goodwin Bowie wide left, Givens wide right. Joe Smith again around and up, and he's not going to get far at all. Tigers trying to establish the ground game here. Okay, they're going to face a third and six. After that big run by uh, Joe Smith, he's been held relatively in check. Third and six here for Jesuit. Griffin back to pass. Griffin pass is caught by Cameron Kuntz for a first down. Creighton Kuntz, I said Cameron, my bad. Creighton Kuntz. Creighton Coons. And we're going to have the water break. Coons, former uh, JV quarterback, has played a little safety as well. Big body, got good, good, uh, good body position there, and Jesuit has a first. Attempt to get a score if we can on uh, the East Bay Largo game. But we can tell you that Edgewater, this is also a three metro game, Edgewater leads Tampa Bay Tech 21 to 7 in the second. Read option. Pass is caught. 20, 10, 5! Referee goes down. And Jared Bowie is down, but he's up inside the 5. Again, Griffin standing tall in the pocket, getting a lot of pressure. Bowie was by himself. Might have been a blown coverage. Bowie by himself on the sideline. And... Uh, one of the, I don't know if that's the back judge, seems to be okay walking it off. Took a tumble. The Jesuits going to have a first and goal. The 519 left in the second on the Griffin to Bowie pitch and catch. Joe Smith up the middle. Joe dive score. Tigers brought in Peter Pazanski. And Joe Smith from three. Jesuit goes up 23 to 10. Jack Ferrari. Snap. Kick. Good. 515 left in the second. 24-10 Jesuit. Largo and East Bay, no score in the first.
Ah, and we have people out there. Largo leads East Bay 7-6 just before halftime. Uh, courtesy of uh, Andrew Lusher, longtime PA announcer for uh, Jesuit basketball. Speaking of which, on Tuesday we'll have our first basketball broadcast on the Jesuit High School Basketball Tampa Facebook page. Looking forward to that. Tigers play IMG White, one of the multiple IMG teams. Ferrari's kick near the goal line and past the 20 is number 13 it's Maurice Hall Tiger basketball team had a couple of blowout wins in their preseason tournament at uh, St. Pete High beat Clearwater and Palm Harbor handily in both games. So uh, looking forward to seeing Neil Goldman's young, young, exciting squad this year. But 24-10 Jesuit, back to football. I digress. 5.07 left in the first half. And it's an inside handoff. Arango, and he's popped. Luke Arena finished it off with the Hard tackle that time. Gain of one. Excuse me, Aubrey, that was 32. Durango's 23, and that was 32, so that was Aubrey. Yeah, Aubrey in the game, 32. Actually built very much like a Rango. Second and nine. Two white outs to each side. Nixon, short drop. Nixon. Pass is caught to shy of the first by Ladini and Farrell. It's going to be third and maybe a yard. Call it third and two. Third and one. Four minutes left in the first half. Nixon walking up to the line. Goes under center. Keeps it himself. Oh, I don't think he made it. And if he did, it's really close. Let's see. Pazanski's on the tackle. Oh, he got it. He got it. Barely, but he got it. So Gaither will have the ball, keep in mind, to start the third. Nixon, short drop again, getting pressure. Pass is caught by Farrell. And he is tackled by Cyrus Abood. Farrell with a gain of four. And it's a handoff. And a hard hit on... Aubrey. Is it Roberts? I think, this, I think so. 30 Roberts. So third and one. So third and one. Trips right. Farrell in motion. Inside handoff, first down, and a nice run by Marcelo Aubrey. 
on the quick, quick hitter. Now Arango 23 comes in. Under two minutes. Gaither in Jesuit territory is a 40, first and 10. Nixon short drop. Nixon. Oh, it's picked off again. Guess who, Troy Bulls? Tiger Ball. Bulls second pick of the half. Troy Bulls. And Jesuit has three timeouts. In a minute and a half. Let's see if the Tigers can move it downfield here. Big play bowls. Got the two running backs in next to Griffin. Griffin rolls. Will counter play that time and a nice run near first down for Ian Wilson. Up, oh, he got the first. And they give him the first on that play. Nice play, Wilson. Comes Creighton Coons in the game. Trips left. Griffin back to pass. Griffin looking downfield. Griffin going downfield. Oh, it's caught! It is caught by Jared Bowie. And Jesuit calls timeout. Tigers call time. Perfect pass at Bowie in stride. Matt Thompson calls time. Boy, Bowie just had a step on the defender, and that's the kind of play you just got to lead him just right. And, boy, Griffin with a beautiful touch pass that time. Bowie ran right underneath it. And Jesuit in business here with 58 seconds left in the first half, 24 to 10 lead. And they are first and 10 at the Gaither 44. Koontz and Givens, wide right. Bowie, Goodwin, wide left. Empty set, Joe Smith in the slot. Griffin rolls right. Griffin passes incomplete. Griffin got hit hard that time. Griffin really got popped from the blind side. Pass was intended for... Champ Givens, incomplete second down. Trips left to the short side. Bowie wide right. Press coverage. And it's a cross. It's caught. Excuse me. That was Koontz in press coverage. That was Bowie with the crossing pattern. Had my eight and my nine mixed up. A short crossing pattern by Bowie. He gets out of bounds. Stops the clock. 46 seconds. First down Jesuit. The Gaither 29. And Will Griffin doing a good job standing tall in the pocket in the face of pressure. Griffin back to pass. Griffin getting pressure. It's a middle screen. Caught. And more of a crossing pattern as opposed to a screen. Caught by a Champ Givens. No gain. 
Looked like they were setting up a middle screen that time. Matt Thompson calls timeout. Uh, legend and offensive line coach Cameron Ruff a uh, little teaching moment coaching moment there with uh, Caden Fluker Griffin rolls right pass is caught Givens And he gets a first down, gets out of bounds. Givens the junior. have a couple couple of solid junior receivers turning next returning next year and uh Goodwin Koontz Givens counter play Ian Wilson he spins Wilson down to the 10 Matt caught Matt Thompson calls his third timeout Tigers has had Tigers have had some success with that counter Gain of six for Wilson. 22 seconds left here in the second. Good sports programs need good officials. You can stay connected to inter interscholastic competition by, by becoming an FHSAA official. There's a need for officials at all levels in all sports. You can help fill those needs. We invite you to join the thousands of men and women the FHSAA contest officials program who play vital roles in the integrity of interscholastic competition. If you're interested, contact the Florida High School Athletic Association office in Gainesville or visit the, or visit the official website at becomeanofficial.org. And we have a sideline warning on Gaither. to speed through that announcement. Griffin shotgun. Two wide outs left. Griffin. Short drop. Oh. He had Bowie open. Just overthrew him a little bit. Bowie was by himself in the middle of the end zone. Third and four. Here comes Max Hunt. So they bring in the big body Hunt at six foot five. Hunt a sophomore. You'll see a lot of playing time next year. Empty set. Griffin rolls left. Griffin. Griffin in the end zone. Oh, it's intercepted. It is picked off, and there's a flag. Flag on the far side of the field. Let's see what this is. Holding on Jesuit. And Griffin's second pick of the first half. With the Tigers driving. And Griffin is uh, contending he got grabbed by the face mask. Troy Bowles tells him, don't worry about it, we got it. Might have just 
just been in Griffin's best interest here just to throw that away and let uh, Ferrari kick the field goal. But uh, And he was going to his left also, which is uh, his weak side. But uh, in spite of leaving uh, some points out in the field, Jesuit leads Gaither 24 to 10 at halftime. Again, thanks to all who have tuned in tonight. We do very much appreciate uh, your support. Um, just a quick programming note. Um, again, just want to make note that the first basketball broadcast is on uh, is on Tuesday. Uh, it's a 7 p.m. tip-off, Jesuit against IMG White. Jesuit High School Basketball Tampa Facebook page. Yours truly on Play by Play. So we look forward to uh, that starting. And you are watching the 2022 FHSAA Class 3 Metro Region 2 semifinal game on the Jesuit High School Football Tampa Facebook page. This is basically in the same press box as when I was going here, and I was going here before you were even thought of. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It really it is. It's the same mm -hmm. ones, the same ones. Kind of nuts.
sit up here, huh?
He's gonna re he's gonna reset this to three. Mm -hmm. Three you said reset? Okay. So uh that may be about a minute. Give me we, we don't need to go right now. Got it. Give my jacket. Let's get myself in order here. Three, two, one. Whenever you're ready. All right, John Pedrero, back here at Alumni Field Corral Memorial Stadium, twenty-four ten Jesuit over Gaither. The FHSAA is now on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Tweet us, like us, and tag us on your social platforms by searching for FHSAA. Keep up with teams and people who strive to make high school athletics in the state of Florida the best. Be a fan of it all by following us on social media at FHSAA. So Jesuit, uh, leaving a few points out in the board, out in the field, excuse me, off the board. In the first half, had a late pick there in the end zone. For two picks by Troy Bulls, including uh, one pick six. But uh, Will Griffin's still a freshman. They try to make uh, something out of nothing a couple of times there, but um, you know what he has accomplished in his 
time as Jesuit quarterback, you know, getting thrown into the fire at Armwood, no easy task, is, uh, is impressive. Mistakes come with the territory. So Gaither will have the ball here to start. Here's Jack Ferrari. Kicks it deep. It's going to be fielded at the two-yard line. Fumbled, picked up. And uh, back to the 10 yard line. So that, uh, that was Angelo Amador and that uh, fumble back at the uh, one yard line definitely cost him a few yards on that return. So at halftime, it's Largo 7, East Bay 6. Winner of this game plays the winner of that game. So uh, close battle in Largo. Nixon, quick pass, caught, oh, dropped. I think uh, Eugene Wilson was trying to run with it before he caught it, and he... Dropped it. So second and ten. And three wideouts right. And they go to the quick trap. The short game that time. That was... See if it was 23 or 32. 23, that was Arango, so he picks up two. And Gaither facing an early third and long. That uh, quick, quick handoff, quick trap play, if you will, is generally what you will see in this uh, air raid offense when they do run the ball. Trips right, Nixon short drop, and he's going to go down, and that is Peter Pazanski. So Pazanski, part of that three-man rush, lining up on the end. As Nixon stepped up, Pazanski wrapped him up, and Jesuit should have some pretty good field position here. High snap, and the kick is going to be fielded by Bowie. Oh, and he fumbles. And I think Jesuit got it back. They did. I think Arena recovered it, I think. Wood has got it. Oh, boy. So Jesuit uh, escaping there. But they have good field position at the gate of 34. And it's Joe Smith. Nice run, Joe. Oh, he's got an open field. 20, 10, 5 score. One play, one run, one score, 34 yards. Joe Smith to pay dirt. Touchdown, Tigers. 30 to 10. Boy, big run Joe Smith right there. Went to the... Uh, Freire's kick is good. Went to the Evan Roardham uh, 
Gavin Blanchard side of the line that time. The two big underclassmen, big hole. And when Joe Smith gets in the open field, forget about it. 31-10, Jesuit. And uh, thank you, Drew Wood, uh, Drew Woodass, for recovering that fumble. Ferrari kick deep. Troy Bowles, one of the gunners here on special teams on end with uh, Creighton Koontz next to him. Ferrari boots this one. And it's going to be a touchback. So it's going to be at the 20-yard line. So Gaither is uh, kind of approaching must-score territory here, down three touchdowns in the second half against a Tiger defense that has been pretty solid. Nixon, just quick pass. And is it another fumble? Is it a fumble? Let's see. Jesuit ball. Peter Pazanski comes up with it. Didn't see who forced the fumble, but uh, saw 17 uh, run out of the scrum holding the ball. And Gaither in trouble right now. Jesuit first and 10 at the Gaither 16. Troy Bowles getting a lot of accolades in the sideline. I wonder if Bowles caused that fumble. Really couldn't see. Opposite side of the field, a lot of bodies couldn't really tell. Griffin. Griffin keeps it himself. Griffin, 10, 5! Oh, he, they're saying he's just shy of the end zone. Jesuit's going to have first and goal at the 1. So here comes Richard Harris. Here comes Peter Pazanski. So a couple of big bodies coming in the game right now to block. Joe Smith. And he's going to be tackled for a loss that time. That was uh, Jake Soltello. On the tackle, loss of one. Wilson comes in. Pazanski stays in. Will Griffin comes out, so Jesuit's going into a shotgun here with Joe Smith. And it's a counter play to Wilson, and he's going to be short. So third and goal. Tigers almost back to where they started. So third and goal just inside the two. Tigers in a stack formation to either side. Griffin keeps it himself. Griffin score. Touchdown Tigers. Little Trickeration there by the Tigers. Tigers go stack either side. Griffin in the shotgun. Hustled up to the line. Got the snap. 
Got some good forward progress, and he scores. And here's Ferrari. Snap. Kick is good. And Jesuit is one touchdown away from running time. It is 38-10. 8-17 left flags in the play. Well after the play. Flags are thrown. Let's see what this is. Two flags. So this is dead ball, unsportsmanlike on Gaither. So uh, Jesuit's going to be kicking from uh, Gaither territory. Boy, I'm wondering if Jesuit tries an onside kick here, tries to uh, get this ball back and... Um, Get this thing into running time. If there's a if there's an opportunity to do it, it's right here. And there it is. There it is. And it's recovered by Bulls flag on the play. Offside. Offside. Oh, Jesuit, my goodness. They had that set up beautifully, too. And Jesuit was offside. I had a uh, feeling that might have been coming. Troy Bulls makes interceptions, makes tackles, and he also recovers uh, onside kicks. So now they're back to midfield. And that was a well-placed kick, too, by Jack Ferrari. I mean, that was right where it needed to be. Let's see if Ferrari pooches this. Nope, he's just going to get rid of it. So Ferrari not messing around, just kicks it through. So Gaither has first and ten at their own 20-yard line. Tigers up 38-10, 8-15, left in the third. Cowboys' first two offensive possessions have ended in a punt and a lost fumble. Four wideouts to the right, empty set for Jason Nixon. Nixon. Pass is caught by Farrell, and he's only going to get a couple of yards, and he's tackled by Luke Arena. Solo tackle, Luke Arena. Only a yard. It's the kind of play where. Uh, your wideouts have to make some blocks, but Jesuit doing a good job of fending them off. Shotgun again, Nixon. Nixon short drop. Nixon downfield incomplete. He was looking for Logan Moses, number 10. Second and nine. Four wide outs left. Look at this. 
Empty set for Nixon. Three down linemen for Jesuit. Nixon back to pass. Nixon steps up. Nixon getting pressure from Arena. It is caught by Farrell, and I think they're going to give him forward progress for a first down. They are. So it's to the 32, first and 10 Gaither, converting on a third down play. S.J. Green on Wilson. Nixon. Pass is incomplete. That was Houston Weathers on the coverage that time. Pass was intended, it looked like, for... Uh, maybe 10 and Vlad, hard to tell from here. But it's 2nd and 10. 7.06 left from the third, 38-10 Jesuit. Nixon short drop. Nixon stepping up. Pass is caught on the sideline. Shy of a first. Weathers on the tackle. Moses on the catch. So second and eight. Excuse me, third and three. Yeah, that's right. The first down play was incomplete. It's third down. Bulls coming to the line. Now he backs up. Nixon's pass caught for a first down. It's ten and Blatt. In a booed in coverage. The Florida High School Athletic Association recognizes its corporate partners who help make the FHSAA football championships possible. Team IP, the official merchandising company of the FHSAA, Gatorade Thirst Quencher, Main Light Events, the official photo company of the FHSAA, Spectrum Sports, the official television partner of the FHSAA, Max Preps, official scores and statistics of the FHSAA, GoFan, official online ticket provider of the FHSAA, the NFHS Network, the official online partner of the FHSAA, and Wilson, provider of the official game ball for the 2022 FHSAA football championships. First and 10 Gaither. Nixon steps up. Nixon has some open field. Nixon initial contact was by Kyle Boys. So second and eight on the Nixon run. Nixon only a sophomore. 35 touchdown passes this year in this air raid offense. Trips left to the short side flag. It's going to be too much time. Delay game. I think I've said this every week. It's such a darn shame that Andre Morris isn't out there with the knee injury, but boy, Kyle Boy is doing a great job in there for him, but uh, definitely miss Andre. Nixon, quick pass, is caught. 
Close to a first down. That's 10 and Blatt. Wood as on the tackle. Short of the first. So third and a yard. And it's a first down reception by Levi Driggers, 17, I think. So Driggers, first time we've mentioned his name, he gets the first. I think that was a boot on that tackle. So either a boot or a Dooley, one of the two. First and ten. Together with a nice little drive here. Trips left. Nixon, short drop. Looking left, pass is caught. Connor Dooley on the tackle. Three thirty-three left in the third. Thirty-eight ten Jesuit. And Jesuit calls time. So uh, Daryl Palmer, Matt Thompson, uh, maybe wanting to adjust a few things here. Also, maybe just give the defense a breather. So second down and five for Gaither at the Jesuit, 34. 35, excuse me. Nixon, quick pass. And uh, S.J. Green in the initial hit that time. It was Latrell Taylor. And he picks up enough for a first down to the 30. Thirty-eight ten Jesuit as we approach three minutes left here in the third. In another relatively rapidly played quarter. Trips left to the short side. And they do the quick inside handoff, short gain by Marcelo Aubrey. Still going, pushed back. So Aubrey gets a yard. Here comes Emmanuel Arango in to replace him. Second and nine. Trips right. Nixon, short drop. Pass is caught. Shy of the first, that's Moses. Weathers in on the tackle. So it's going to be third and five, gain of four on that play. Minute and a half left in the third. Trips 
Trips left to the wide side. Nixon, short drop, looking left. Oh, it's picked off! Is it Bulls again? It is! He is going to the house score! Touchdown, Tigers! Troy Bulls, third interception of the game. His second pick six. And Jesuit is a an extra point away from running time. Boy, Troy Bulls picked a great time to probably have his best game of the year. He has been dominant. And uh, no one was even close to him on that return. And Jack Ferrari to let us go home a little early. Kick is up. Kick is good. 45 to 10. And the referee gives the run it sign. I mean, Troy Bowles has really just been dropping back in coverage. He's been reading the quarterback's eyes. I mean, simple as that. Gets himself in good position. Well, too late now, but if uh, you know, I'm if I'm gay, if I'm their quarterback, wherever Bowles isn't is where I'm looking. Yeah, they have him out right now. Uh, We have 34 for Jesuit, who I don't quite know who that is on special teams. Might be Cole Ballesteros. Not sure, though. And this is Farrell with a nice run up the sideline. As the third ends, it's got a message that uh, Edgewater is leading Tampa Bay Tech 21-17 with 8.37 left in the third. And so Jesuit up 45-10. to 10. For the latest official news about Florida high school sports, including up-to-date brackets in the 2022 FHSAA Football Championships, visit FHSAA.com, the new official website of the Florida High School Athletic Association. That's www.FHSAA.com. Catch live and on-demand postseason coverage of Florida High School Sports at www.NFHSnetwork.com. Brought to you by the NFHS Network, the official online partner of the FHSAA. Another score update, Largo 14, East Bay 12. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate that. So Nixon on the run for eight. So basically, going forward here, the only time the clock will stop is on a timeout at the water break or if there's an injured player. So those three circumstances. So this should go quickly. Let's find out 34 is Connor Vance. This be JV call up, apparently. Nixon. Pass is caught. And Drew Wood has got his bell rung a little bit there. Ten and Blatt on the catch. It's a first down. Wood has stays in. The first and ten at the twenty-five.
Nixon. Quick pass. Caught. A boot on the tackle of Latrell Taylor. Second down and eight. Trips left. Nixon, short drop. Looking down the field, has a man open over through Wilson. Not sure if he's listening tonight, but uh, if he is, want to give a shout out to uh, Ernie Charette, longtime Jesuit teacher. So, Ernie, if you're tuning in, hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Running clock, approaching nine minutes left here in the fourth. Again, winner of this game. Plays the winner of Largo East Bay and whatever the case, if Jesuit wins. Well on their way. It will be here. Pazanski giving chase. Pazanski dives, misses. And he's there again to finish him off. He gets the assist on that play. And Holton Roberts ultimately gets the sack. Pazanski stays with it. So fourth and 13. So Jesuit going with that one down lineman defense here. And whistles. Timeout, Gaither. So Jesuit going with uh, that special defense with uh, Bowie and Thurman in. And you are watching the 2022 FHSAA Class 3 Metro Region 2 semifinal game. The Jesuit High School Football Tampa Facebook page. So fourth and 14, empty set, and it's a crossing pattern to Wilson, who is going to be shy of the first, and Jesuit takes over on downs. So Ian Wilson comes in. Joe Smith, uh, his night may be done here. Bowie in motion. And it's Andre Gilbert. And he is tackled by Henley. Haven't 
haven't really said Antonio Hanley's name too, too much tonight, and that's a good thing. Best defensive player on the Gaither squad. <laughs> Gilbert picks up two. Justin Thurman comes in, the speedy sophomore. 6.21 left here in the fourth. 45-10 Jesuit. Running clock. Griffin. And it is Ian Wilson. Nice gain for Wilson. Tigers are going to face a third down here. So third and call it three for Jesuit under six minutes. Thurman gets the handoff. Thurman hard running, and I think he got a first. So first down Jesuit, and we're going to have the water break here. It's Lar Largo 14, East Bay 12, 409 left in the third. A couple of teams that uh, like to pound it in that game. So Edgewater leads Tampa Bay Tech 21-17 after three. Trips left. Griffin's still with it. Griffin's passes off the fingertips of the visibly frustrated Jarrett Bowie. Second and ten. Flag in the play. So Jesuit is penalized for illegal man downfield, so it's going to be second and fifth, first and fifteen, excuse me. Peter Pazanski at fullback for Thurman. He busts ahead for about four. So second and eleven. Ian Wilson comes in. Two white dots to each side. Griffin back to pass. Griffin looking deep downfield. Lobs it up in the air. Incomplete. Looking for Andre Gilbert, who was in the game at receiver. So it's going to be third and 11. So I think we're kind of safe here at this point to talk about broadcasts for next week. Um, the play bro broadcasts during the playoffs really are at the discretion of the FHSAA. Jesuit has got authorization to do these last two games, which has been great. We appreciate it. But uh, whether we do the next game or not is at the FHSAA's discretion. It may very well be on NFHS Network, but we don't know. Usually find that out later in the week, but uh, if we get the okay, I will be on next week. If not, it'll be on NFHS Network, so uh, stay tuned. Griffin looking deep downfield again, and that is 
caught by Creighton Koontz and their flags on the play. Oh, they're calling offensive pass interference on Creighton Koontz. So this one's coming back. And hard to tell from here. And two guys on Koontz. That's a 15-yard 15, 15 penalty in high school rules. It's, that's, that one's 10 in the pros. I think in college, too, 15 in high school. So Judge right now facing a third down and uh, incredibly long to go here. But we only have a minute and a half left in this game. So with the running time, Griffin inside handoff. And that's a loss on the play. Wilson, he's tackled by, I said 15, I don't have a 15 on my lineup. As we approach a minute here. So Judge was just letting this clock run all the way down and Ferrari's going to kick it away. Jezra's just going to take this uh, five-yard penalty just for this because the clock's not going to stop and that's going to be it not even going to get the not even going to get uh, the kickoff and that's the end of the game and the Jesuit Tigers advance to the final eight in uh, class uh, three Metro 45 to 10 over Gaither and Jesuit will be home next week against the winner of a, a tight game going on right now between East Bay and Largo. Again, thanks to everyone who uh, tuned in this evening. We appreciate it. Appreciate your support and uh, check the Jesuit uh, Jesuit High School Football Tampa Facebook page. Check the Jesuit Football Twitter for details about next week's broadcast. Once again, 4510, thanks for watching. I am John Pedrero from the class of 1981. You've been watching Jesuit High School Football on the Jesuit High School Football Tampa Facebook page. 4510 Tigers going to the final eight. Have a great evening, everyone.